Morning everybody, David Shapiro here with a uh, quick experiment. Um, so <clears throat> I have talked about meta prompting uh, in various places in a couple of my books and on the internet. And so what is a meta prompt? A meta prompt is a prompt that generates new prompts. Um, so in theory, with the right prompt, you can tell GPT-3 to write its own instructions. Um, this is not a new concept. There's what's called an infinite state machine where, you know, older punch card computers would, would basically generate its next set of instructions and then you'd recurse through that. So this is basically an infinite state machine, but for language models or a recursive um, thing. So, but the idea, so what you can do, what I frequently do is I'll have a prompt where it's like, you know, do something with the following and then I'll do a placeholder and then I'll have like, you know, output here and then GPT-3, you know, GPT-3 um, output. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll feed this back in here. So that's technically recursive, but the problem is that the entire structure is, is fixed. So what I want to do is have it where the output of one prompt is the entire input. So it's just rather than having this placeholder and everything, it's just spit out the next thing. So what I wanted to do was kind of start with an endpoint and work backwards, because sometimes working backwards is the best way to achieve this. So let's say, for instance, you have the goal of you. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, you have the goal of you want to get to this instruction, brainstorm a list of ideas to solve climate change. Okay, what kind of prompt would generate that prompt, right? Um, so you're basically going to create, um, well, here, let's, let's, let's ask GPT-3, um, what kind of instruction might generate, or let's say yield the following instruction, uh, the following uh, uh, imperative. Instruction. Okay. It doesn't understand. I didn't think it would. Um, so the idea here is like, I want to like, write natural, write, uh, you know, um, given the uh, problem, write some instructions about how to write about the problem. Hmm. Like, it's almost like you're, you're making a test, right? Um, let's see. I am making a test and I have to I have to design the instructions for the um, essay questions. Um, yeah, that might that might work. So then, like, uh, let's see. Write some writing prompts for the following issue. Climate change. Prompt. Okay, so we're getting somewhere because then like, say for instance, you take um, like, what do you think is causing climate change? What do you think we can do to stop climate change? Because if you take one of those and you just put this directly into GPT-3, you can get, you can do it. Okay, so what we, this is some progress where I said, like, give me a writing prompt, like, so generate writing prompts. Ooh, maybe that, maybe that's the key for meta prompting is you just say, give me a writing prompt. Um, okay. 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 Um, I am making a test and I have to design the instructions for the essay questions, write some writing prompts, um, for let's, instead of write some, write, um, write a writing prompt for the following issue. Um, all right. So let's try this again. Um, solving, no, stopping climate change. And then we'll say prompt. Okay. And then, 
you know, I, I guess the thing is, though, is like, hmm. What if we have a different one? So let's see. Let's try something completely different. So like um, escaping, escape from a uh, deserted, deserted island. Even though you've been stranded on a desert island for weeks, you have not given up. What do you do? Okay. So let's plug this into GPT-3. And then we'll say, just add answer. So, okay. So telling GPT-3 to generate a writing prompt could be the first step towards, um, towards meta prompting. I feel like I'm missing something, but I also feel like I'm onto something, right? Like this, this is kind of cool. Um, yeah. Cause I almost want it to do like, I want a prompt that writes more writing prompts. Um, I'm making a test and I have to design instru instructions for the essay questions. Um, write a writing prompt for the following issue. Um, because I, I like I want it I want to write a writing prompt that writes even more writing prompts and that the output of that is another is itself another writing prompt. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I've already solved it and it's just a matter of you do need to add some structure, right? Like where you have a placeholder. But I do like the idea that I've come up with something that using this thing where it's give me a writing prompt, write a writing prompt, um, and then you can just take that entire output and plug it into GPT-3 again. Um, and then of course, if you do this, if you plug this in, you're, it's not a writing prompt anymore. Like, so see, it'll end. Um, but at least with, cause I guess, I guess maybe I set myself an arbitrary standard where a, a meta prompt has to generate an endless stream. Maybe, maybe it's not quite an infinite state machine, but at least I can say like design a task, right? R give me a writing prompt for how to solve this particular issue. Um, Let's try something even harder. Um, designing an artificial general intelligence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was hoping for maybe a little bit more, but let's see. All right. So yeah, like, um, and then I guess you could recurse through and then like say like, okay, design a writing prompt that handles this. Um, all right, I'll, I'll call it there because I just had this idea. I jotted it down yesterday and I was like, let me, let me you know, uh, uh, bookmark that for later. So there you have it. Um, the key to, um, the key to meta prompting is just telling GPT-3 to write a writing prompt. Um, so there you go. It's pretty, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon.